I don't want to interrupt you. No, I was going to ask him a different question. Okay. Uh, how's camp going, dude? Uh, it's going good, man. Just uh, fun to be outside, fun to be out playing football, hanging with the guys, and um, it's always a blessing to come out and throw the ball around. How do you feel like you guys are adapting to the new offense? Yeah, uh, doing good. Um, every day it's a, it's a challenge. It's, a, it's an opportunity, opportunity for us to get better. Um, but we're just trying to iron, iron things out day in and day out and, and try to put a good product out there. The intensity of these practices, what is that like? Just two and a half hours on Sunday going hard. I mean, yeah. tough to push through? Or? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's just part of, part of playing football. It's what we sign up for. And, uh, man, I, I think the, uh, the good ones, like, really love it, really look forward to it. So, um, man, it's just an opportunity for us to come out and get better uh, and try to become a really good football team. When you, when you see the EB playbook for the first time, what do you, what do you, what, what hits you? Yeah, uh, just a lot of things going in, uh, a lot of moving parts, um, but really just trying to to understand everything. Everything's got a rhyme and a reason uh, and a space. Um, so really just trying to to find the space, uh, take advantage of it, uh, and move the chains. When, when you're out there, typically with a lot of the younger receivers, guys who don't have the, the experience at this level, how do you kind of help them get through these practices and also for yourself? understanding they're maybe not on their mark as much as like a Terry is. Yeah, I mean, to brag on those guys, those guys have done a really, really good job of diving into the playbook, uh, understanding things, and uh, being in the right place at the right time. Um, you know, I've been around a few uh, rookie receiver groups, and they've, they've done a really, really good job of understanding where to be and when to be there. A guy like, Mitchell, sounded, go ahead. I was saying, a guy like Mitchell Tinsley, um, which is kind of all curious about how he's been, what was anything that stood out to you about him in particular? Yeah, man, I love Mitch, man. Mitch is a, a definite go-to for me uh, versus man coverage. Um, he just always finds a way to win. I felt like EB was a little louder today than normal. I wondered if that's a tune because of games coming up in a week, or am I misreading it? No, that's uh, that's EB every day. Hey, he always brings the intensity. Uh, it's always coming out, uh, firing all, on all cylinders, um, and just trying to get the best from us. I want to ask you again about the game coming up in a week. Is that any extra juices, any, any extra um, kind of a little bit of yes and a little bit of no. Um, you know, uh, on one hand, you know, we're out here uh, really competing every single day, day in and day out. On the other hand, we are uh, pretty excited about going on and uh, beating up on somebody else rather than ourselves. Any idea playing time come Friday night? No idea, man. Just, uh, just really going to look at it as an opportunity and blessing and hopefully we can go out and play well. Thanks, Jake. Thanks, Thanks guys.